Today we are going to learn how to tell time to the hour. So here I have a number line. What do you notice about my number line? Some numbers are missing. Some numbers are missing. Does anyone know what my first number missing is? You are right, it is three. Does anyone know what my next number is missing? Yes, it is nine. Okay, these are important numbers in the number line because if you don't have them, then it doesn't make any sense. This is my clock face. I have certain numbers on my clock face, and if I don't have those numbers, then it doesn't make sense. Okay, so if you notice the numbers that I have on my number line, all of these numbers fit on my clock face. So the, the number one starts right here and then it goes around this way. Does anyone know what my first number is missing? What number it is? It is six. Okay, very good. So we do it just like a number line, except for it is in a circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve. Twelve. So what number is up at the very top of my clock? First grade? Twelve. You are exactly right. No matter what clock I look at, 12 is at the very top of my clock, whether it's a clock or a watch, okay? So that is very important to remember that 12 is at the top of my clock. What number is at the bottom of my clock face? Six is at the bottom of my clock face. That is very important to know. Also, first grade, did you notice that we were missing on our number line the numbers 9 and 3? They just changed it. I mean, they both did you numbers. notice that they are very important? Because on the very right side of my clock is the number 3. And on the very left side of my clock is the number 9. So, when I am making my clock face, what goes up top? Twelve. Twelve. What goes down at the Six. bottom? Six. What goes to the right? Three. Three. And what goes to the left? Nine. Nine. You are exactly right. So now I've got my numbers spread out evenly. So now I can fill in in between. What goes between my twelve and my three? One. One, One and two. What goes between my three and my six? Nine. Four and five. What goes between my six and my nine? Seven and eight. What goes between my nine and my ten? Ten and eleven. My, ten, my nine and my twelve, ten and eleven. Do you see how I can put my numbers and space them out correctly? Okay? Because if I didn't do that, if I didn't do that, then I would just do this. Whoops. And I wouldn't be able to space them out as well as I would like to. And then this is what it would end up like. Is that how my clock looks like up on my um no. no. So I know that we usually write our numbers in order, but it's important to know that I need to write my 12 and then my 6 first. Then I write my 3 and my 9 next to help me space out my numbers correctly, okay? So, now that we know what a clock face looks like, we are going to work on um, drawing our clock to the hour. We are only going to work on the hour today, okay? So, I want you to go ahead and get out your top colorful page, and we are going to work on um, this clock face on the front. What numbers were missing on my timeline? Three, nine. 
three and nine. So please make sure that you fill in your three and your nine first. Okay, now what numbers were missing on my clock face? 20 and 6. Um, six 12. 12 and 6. So please write the 12 and the 6. Remember, first grade, that we start here. Whoops, I need a different color. That we start here and we go around the clock this way. Okay? So that is called clockwise. Excuse me. Okay, let's turn the page over. Whoops. And notice on my clock, on my wall, it's got called two hands. It has two hands. And they each have their own name. The shorter hand is called the hour hand. Okay? So, hour is a short um, word, isn't it? So, I know that my short hand is called the hour hand. So, it asks, what time does this clock show? What number is the hour hand pointing to? First three. Three. It is pointing to the three. So, we write that as three o clock. We could just say three, but that's not actually the full name of the time. So I want a three and then a colon. See these two dots on top of each other? And then the zero, zero say o'clock. What do the zero, zero say? O'clock. So this time says o'clock. This clock says Three o'clock. Does everyone see how they match? Okay, so let's do the first one. My hour hand is pointing to what number? Nine. Nine. So I'm going to write what first? Nine. And then the two dots. Are they important? Yes. Yes, because otherwise it says 900 instead of nine. O'clock. So what two numbers do I need to write so that they say o'clock? Zero, zero, Can I just write one zero? No. No, I have to write both zeros. Because it says what first grade? Nine o'clock. What time does this one say? Nine o'clock. Does everyone understand? 